Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I actually remove. I removed all the screws of this bracket and from the keyframe. And actually this bracket just, uh, it's loose now. And I just can pull it right out. I'll discard this bracket and come in with the new bracket in the same way. You can just uh, wiggle it in there and it just sits right in there. Now I haven't removed any other screws of the action frame yet, so this one sits right in here. And um, I check and make sure the holes are the same. I'll check there with my flashlight. Looks like they are, and usually on these ends they are the same. In the middle you might have to move them. And then I'll rough back in these screws, just slightly put them back in. I won't put, uh, probably won't put the ones back in the action frame right now, but you can, you can do that. Just screw everything in just a slight bit and you can see just taking my screws out there, stuck it there and I'm going to go down to each one of these brackets now and do the same thing until I have them back in. Okay here's one problem that usually comes up during this job. Here's the new bracket, the gold one and the old one. is the silver one and this is the end brackets and you can see if I put them on top of each other that the um, that the gold, the new golden brackets are thicker. They're always a little thicker and so I usually, you have to get new screws, and this is in the instructions from Young Chang, but you'll have to get new screws a little bit longer. And so I already bought some today, and I have them here. So with this bracket, it's, uh, and sometimes with the middle is the same, but um, you can see that there's some difference in the uh, thickness here of the brackets going into the keyframe. So you have to keep that in mind, and just go to the hardware store, you can do from the piano supply companies, get the right screws, and uh, they're just simple screws like this, and I just get them a little bit longer. Alright, for the two center brackets, I'm actually, I've, I've loosened up both sets of center brackets here, now they're loose, and it's hard to get them out. I don't have the action um, screwed to the keyframe anymore, so I just lift up, you know, a little bit on the keyframe, and I'm going to slide those in. And then put the um, lift, lift slightly up on the key stack here, and they'll just be able to slide right in. And it's kind of like hard hard to see, but I've just lifted up the entire keyframe uh, stack here, and I can move those and brackets right out. Put the other ones right in. Okay, and with these middle brackets, now that I've uh, basically I just took my hand here, lifted the entire stack up, just pulled pulled a bracket out, stuck a bracket in, did that to these two middle, and then you check into your uh, this screw is usually the one you have to redrill, but I'm lucky today. They match perfectly on this action, so no redrilling or plugging of any holes. I'm going to just put these screws back in, and I'll have all four brackets, as you can see, completely back in the piano action. Then I'll be able to, as soon as I do that, I'm going to just tight, uh, put these screws back in, but not tighten them completely, and I'm going to measure from this um, key center, uh, flange center, this center and get the spread right and that takes a little bit of moving around you move the center of this rail back and forth until it's right okay so I know there's several ways to measure this here's just one of the quickest easiest ways I have and I just take some tape and this one's gonna go to 113 and a half millimeters from the center of this uh, pen and here on the whipping uh, to up here to this hammer flange so I I know that my tape is at a, at, um, it's hard to get this little ruler in here, but I can put this, um, basically put this ruler right on the edge, in the center of that pen there, and then I can look up here and I can see that I'm at 113, you know, when I get it lined up. So this is an important step, if you don't do this right, then your hammers or your back checks are off and the action spread is wrong, which is why you're doing this in the first place. So. Um, you want to make sure that you use this, and this is a post-1992, so this is after 1992, and the specs were 113 and a half millimeters, and, and I can see using my little ruler here. And you do this, you set this at this side, and really I've tightened most of this up, and I just move this back and forth, and do it on the other side, and then in the middle, you get, just have to keep working with it until you get it right, and that's uh, the final thing, and then you and start your regulation sequence.